And now it comes to getting some content in these. And so I'm going to open up Photoshop. And I have no idea what I'm going to put in this hole up here. I'm probably going to pick one of my own photos. Okay, so I've gotten into some photos here from my garden. Let's see if I can find a good one here. Let's look at this as uh, extra large icons. So you see here I've got these are, are uh, what's called raw files. I'm not going to use that. Maybe I want to use, I don't know. Let's see what i got here. Maybe I want to use this thing here of my raised bed gardens for a, a header. Just looking through and seeing what might look nice. So I guess I'm I guess I'm doing a gardening video uh, gardening website didn't actually mean for it to go that way but here we go I'm gonna open this up in Photoshop and of course this this image is gonna be way bigger than what I need for my header I know I need a thousand pixel wide but I don't want to see this big telephone pole in the background all that I'm gonna crop that out so I'm gonna go down 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 to here okay so I've got a garden here I know that my my header needs to be a thousand pixels wide, 120 pixels tall, because that's what we'd set earlier. I'm going to say um, image size, and let's do a thousand wide, 1000. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there we go. I know I'm going to click the little, little uh, magnifying glass button over here, go to 100%, so I know that's the right width, but I only picked 120 pixels tall. So we probably need to crop this a little more, either that. Or we can set our header to be a little taller when we go back in. So maybe this is a good opportunity to see how we adjust cascading style sheets. Okay, so now I'm going to do a T. And I'm going to say Tony's Garden. And uh, so it's going to be a garden website or something, I guess. And we could put a drop shadow behind this to provide some, uh, some uh, maybe I've gone too big with that too. Let's, let's copy over this. Ah! Select it. Let's go down. Probably about like that would be good. Okay. So now I'm going to put probably a drop shadow behind this. Uh, layer style. Drop shadow. Automatically see something that's going to work pretty well. Distance. A little bit more distance maybe. A little more spread. Size. I don't think we need to change the size. There we go. Okay. Looks pretty good. So now I've got, uh, actually got a pretty good header. I could pull it over here. Tony's garden might be better over here. All right, so uh, I know that this is too big. Image, I'm going to go to canvas size for a second and look at it. So I'm going to, when I did canvas size, I know I'm the right width. It always comes up as inches, but you can do pixels. Now you're 1,000 pixels, 170. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to change that to 170 pixels tall in the header here in just a minute. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say File, Save for Web. This is very important right here. This is where you decide, where you go out to make your images really web friendly. Now, there's a few rules you ought to know about this as a, as a beginner. If you're a beginner, usually if you've got continuous tone stuff like, like beautiful photographs and stuff, you want to use JPEG compression. If you're using just a logo that has maybe two or three colors or whatever in it, you'll want to use GIF, G-I-F. And I'll, we'll go over reasons for that later. But this good rule of thumb is if it's continuous tone, like a photo, you want to use JPEG. If you want something that's going to be transparent and lay over this, let's say you had a really cool background behind all this, you want some stuff to lay over the top of it and see that background, then you pick Ping 24. But So we're going to pick JPEG, and I'm going to go to about a level 75. And what happens down here at the bottom in Photoshop, it tells you how big the file is going to be. 128K is not too bad if I want to point to 60. It's going to be 91K, but you start losing a little bit of quality in here. Actually, 60 doesn't look bad, though. I'm going to go to maybe 65. And so now I've picked, I'm going to have about 100K that's going to take to download. The more imagery you have on, the more the more Ks you have, right? The slower it's going to be for people to download it. And it shows down here, you know, if, you, if they still had a 56, 6K uh, modem, that, that's how long it would take that image to come down, actually, 19 seconds. But you can go here and you can see what it's going to get. Most people now got at least one megabyte cable, so it's only going to take like two seconds to download your header. So I'm going to say save now, and that's going to have to go into my uh, folder, right? My folder where all my web stuff is. So I know it's on here. We go down to Tony Legally N2 website, doesn't it? So I'm going to call this header, H E A D E R. Okay, save. So now I've got a header. And so I'm going to go back to my Dreamweaver. I just went right past it. And I pulled my Dreamweaver back down here, so I kind of got it stretched out of the way. 
So now I know that my header is going to go here, but I know my header is too small. I made it 120. I'm going to put a 170 in it. And that was, you know, I shouldn't have done that. So let's figure out what we got to do here to make this work. And somehow I messed up my view. There we go. CSS designer. Here we go. So I'm inside the header here. It knows I'm inside the header. So that means this is my header. 120 pixels. Now let's go 170, right? 170. Boom. Automatically, it automatically does that. Now I don't want this text here. It text was just there to show me where the, the div is. So I'm going to get rid of that. And if I go to the code, I don't have to go to the code. I can actually put this image in there. If I go to code, I can see I'm right between these two little pointy arrows, the left one and the right one. One points left, one points right. That's where I want to be. That's where my image needs to go. I can go back to design if I want to. It doesn't matter. Say insert image. There we go. And we're going to navigate through it. And there it is. It knows where to go automatically. Say OK. And there's my header. Right? Looks pretty sweet. Now we can do a navigation bar here. And you know how I said we don't need to use this color. We'll get rid of that just in a second. This does bring up um, you know, some some formatting here. What we can do, let's let's go ahead into, we're inside this, and so it knows we're inside a navigation. See over here? And so we're, I know we're 40 pixels tall. I might leave it at that, uh, but let's do this too. Let's go down to, mar uh, to padding here. And on the top, I'm going to give it a padding of like, Eight pixels. Let's see what that does. See what that did? It pulled it down to the top from the top, didn't it? So now I've got that. You know what? That might need to go to maybe a little more. Let's go 10 pixels. So now see, I've got a little bit of space here that's not just riding right up along the edge here. Okay, so what I've done, I've I've deleted the content, see content for whatever goes here. And so I know if I go to my code, I'm still between the two little carrots there, right? So we're totally cool. I'm going to go back to design again and look at this. I'm going to start typing in what I'd like to go here, like home. And I'm going to do the little, uh, yeah, it's not the little stuff where the backslash is. I'm going to do the shift, put this kind of thing here. I'm going to do uh, about our garden. I'm going to put... Uh, Plants, we choose, or whatever, I don't care. Plants, we grow. And let's put something else here. Um, seasons. Maybe we'll tell what we grow on each season. And we'll say uh, vegetable, uh, uh, edibles. E D I B L E edibles. Maybe we'll show that we eat some of these flowers. And we're going to put a whole bunch of mess here. We'll say, uh, see, blog, map, or location. And contact. Okay, I'll put a little bit of. Okay, now this is too much over here. We're, we're right up against this over here to the left. I am going to go into, I'm, I mean, it's still inside of the navigation. I'm going to go down here to margin and I'm going to go a padding of 10 left. And what's going to happen, that's going to throw off our box a little bit here. And that's not a problem. I can go back here and I can change this to, uh, to, to 990. And then we go right back into place. So I do see that my box is a little taller on need to be, maybe 32. And that looks kind of nice. Maybe I go even a little less than that, 30, 30. There we go. So now I've got kind of my little navigation thing built. Now, at this point, if we decided we want this to be darker or something, see, it's kind of cool. You can go back with these styles and you can do, as long as you're still inside of navigation here, see, you can go back with your text. You click that one, it takes you straight to the text. And you can say, okay, that's 15. You know what? Maybe it would be good for that to be uh, font weight of bold. You click on that, and there you go. That might not look too bad. So maybe we do want it to be bold. Now we got a content for our left over here, and you know maybe again we want to uh, you know offset uh, the text a little bit. Maybe ten again. So I'm, I'm inside of left body. When you clicked inside of it, it went to that. 
So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to say, okay, padding. Maybe I want this to be, um, I don't know, what, 10 here too? Now see what happened. It, when I did that, it went over too much and it slid my body back over here. Uh, my main body went up underneath it, tucked up underneath it. We got to fix that. So we're going to fix that. Uh, first of all, though, let's go ahead and put a, a padding of like 10 at the top here. And maybe even 10 at the bottom. Maybe even 10 at the side. And that, well, I don't know if we're going to need that. We might not. We'll see. Let's take this one off right here to zero. Okay, and so, whoops, I took everything to zero. My bad. 10. Oh, let's see what I've got. It's set to link. Let's undo that. I can go zero. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn you. 10. 10. 10. I didn't, if you click that thing in there, it, it makes them all equal. So there I've got, I've got some you know, room for content, but I'm 10 pixels over here. So I'm going to go back to my size here. Instead of 250, I'm going to do 240. Boom. Now my content for the top goes up here just fine as well. And, but for my body, let's see what my main body. I'm probably going to need the same kind of thing. I'm probably going to need some uh, padding and stuff here. I should go back up to top for a second. Here we go. Padding, let's give padding at top 10. And zero, zero, I could do 10 here. Zero. And once again, I've made my th thing too big. My box is too big and it slid down. So I'm gonna go back and take it down to 740. Boom. And now we're working out just fine here. And then I'm gonna have my footer down here at the bottom. And we're probably gonna want some, uh, we're probably gonna want some padding and stuff in there too. So I'll go padding here. Let's do a, let's do eight on all sides. Eight. If I click that thing there, it's gonna link. We do eight, boom. And now we've got it all the way around and I've gone eight too many. Actually 16 too many probably. So I'll go back up here to a thousand and we'll say nine. What would be 16, nine, 84? Boom. There we go. It's perfect. Pretty good, uh, pretty good thinking there. Probably I'll center this though. I'll format a line center. And it's going to create another div actually inside here. If you click on that, you can see it. Go to the code. It made a, a, a little class here, a little style that centers things. See the center over here? Okay, so we're going we're going really well here. We've got a pretty decent looking uh, design going on. Now let's save. Now what we can do just for fun is we can start uh, adding some fake content for right now. And where do you go to get good fake content just, just for space or for why you don't like If you do a Google search for lorem ipsum, this is where you get your Greek stuff, you know, typically. Uh, Greek uh, text. And this is a good website to go where you go get it. Where can I get some? And here is some standard lorem ipsum. So this is what we call Greek text in the uh, design world. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go in and paste some of that in here. And then you got you some fake stuff. And I'll put another one in here. Maybe put a space in another one. And maybe this paragraph needs to be a little bit more this way or whatever. And so all of a sudden here, I'll copy it again. Control C. We've got a bunch of good fake text that could be part of a, of a website, right? Well, now is a good time to get rid of some of these colors and things, right? So like our container. If I click inside the container here, I can see I'm inside a container. I can go over here to div. We can start getting rid of some of these this gnarly looking colors we set up just so we could see what uh, we were dealing with here. So I'm going to go to white. Now white's going to always be F, 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 F. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. So now we've got that out of the way. And uh, I wouldn't mind if this stayed a certain color, this, um, this um, thing over here, maybe not that color. And I wouldn't mind if this stayed a color. Maybe it needs to be a more, maybe this needs to be more of a green or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what we want for colors here. We would also have images in the, as a background of some of these. I know I just don't want white behind this. So I'm going to click in the main body. Main body, I'll make it uh, the FFFFFs again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, you can drag it and put any color you want to behind there. Now, here's where if I wanted to decide, I'm going to put some lorem ipsum in here too. I'll get kind of a uh, 
a different one. Control C. This is just old Greek text that people have been using for a long, long, long time for what you need. Now here you see probably I should have put some padding over here on the left because I can see it is going to ride up against this. Maybe I go back to my padding here. And I do pick 10 on this, which is going to blow everything out of proportion again. So that means I'm going to have to uh, make the box again a little bit smaller. So instead of 240, it's going to 230, 230, boom. Now everything's looking pretty good there. And I can actually create a height for this if I want to. So we might do that. We might we might continue to make this a, a, a height so that it pulls down to the bottom naturally and down here meets with the footer. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, I'd rather kind of that we that we get an idea of how this all is going to work. Now I've got a big gap up here at the top, don't I? I don't know why I've got that gap exactly. And go into the code and look at it. Or we can go over here into styles and see main body, main body. What kind of a padding do I do at top? I've got 10. If I take it down to 5, boom. Everything went up. I'll make it to 0, boom. That's not bad. I kind of like it that way. That's probably the way I'm going to do it. So I've got the top. My padding is, is, uh, is down to 0. Okay, so I'm going to click Save. And right now, you know, the only thing left to do is probably add some pictures into this and and you know whatever we're going to do over here let's go see if we can find some another good picture file open maybe i want this flower i'll say okay that looks good to me that's a pretty cool image there so here's one of the flowers let's go image size i'm going to say maybe 360 make a nice little and once again it always makes it look way small if you click on the little thing your little magnifying glass and hit 100 percent you'll see what you're actually going to have that might be too large Image size, let's go instead of 360, let's go 300. Boom, that's going to be the right image size. I've got this pretty little pink flower that my wife grew. And I'll say file, a safer web again. And once again, it's continuous tone, 65 looks good. I'm going to save. It's going to go here, we call this flower, fellow WR. Save, beautiful, beautiful. All right, now I'm going to close the flower and not save it here. At least I think I'm not going to. No, don't save. This popped up off the screen, so I'm going to tell it not to save it. This I will save, though. So it's to file save as a Photoshop file. Now, I usually inside the um, inside my folder here that I'm working in my web folder. Tony Legally in website 2. I put a new folder in here called, I'm going to do a new folder. I put one called Don't Upload. Art and Photos. And these are, this is art and stuff that I'm going to save in layers. I don't want this Photoshop file to be on, on, my, uh, on my website because you're not going to put Photoshop. Your you web can't use Photoshop files. It uses JPEGs, GIFs, and pings. But I would like to keep my uh, header layers. So I'm going to say saves. If I ever have to go in here and change that, put a different photo behind it instead of that, change that font, I'll go ahead and do that. But I've got the Photoshop file that are in the layers there, so that's pretty cool.